10 selfie that went awry. Number 10. Pumpkin Sculpture Damage. In February 2017, a complex and intricate sculpture of pumpkins by famed Japanese artist Yayoi Kazama on display at the Hirshhorn Museum in Washington, D.C., was damaged by an art enthusiast trying to take a selfie. The man fell over after stepping off a platform, damaging one of the pumpkins. Number 9. Hypercane Exhibition Damage. In July 2017, a woman attempting to photograph herself with her smartphone did $200,000 worth of damage to sculptures on display at the 14th factory in Los Angeles, California. Number 8. Statue of the Two Hercules Damage. In 2015 in Cremona, Italy, a pair of tourists broke a crown off the priceless statue of the two Hercules, sculpted in the early 1700. The marble crown fell off the statue when the tourists tried to climb it so they could take a selfie. Falling to the piazza, it broke into pieces. Authorities have identified the culprits, and the amount of damage they did to the statue is being assessed. Number 7. Crocodile Bite. In January 2017, French tourist Ben Etalia Lee Suffolk, 47, paid a price for the selfie she sought to take during her visit to Thailand's Khao Yai National Park. When she and her husband spotted a crocodile, she insisted on taking a selfie with the reptile. Disregarding posted signs warning visitors not to leave the park's trails, Lee Suffolk hastened to the pond, where she tripped, falling into the water. The crocodile bit her leg. Number 6. Fall from a bridge. An unidentified young Sacramento, California, woman fell 18 meters, 60 feet, from the Forest Hill Bridge in North Auburn. California, on April 4, 2017. She and her friends were walking along a catwalk beneath the bridge when she lost her balance while trying to take a selfie and plummeted from the bridge onto the trail below. Number 5. Driving while topless. College student Miranda K. Raider, 19, was arrested for driving while intoxicated and possession of alcohol as a minor after smashing into the rear end of a police car. She did so while trying to take a topless selfie to post on Snapchat for her boyfriend. Number 4. Electrocution. In March 2014, an unidentified 21-year-old man from Andhuja in southern Spain was electrocuted when he climbed atop a train to take a selfie and touched a live wire. He and his friends didn't think the wire was electrified. The other man also received a severe electric shock from the 3,500 volt discharge, but he survived. Number 3. Train Fatality. In November 2014, Carla Nunez's 12-year-old daughter Charlotte lost her life when she was struck by a train while she took selfies on a railroad track. Number 2. Gunshot to the head. On May 21, 2015, an otherwise unidentified 21-year-old Russian office worker was posing for a selfie while holding a gun to her head when the 9mm handgun went off. The gun belonged to a security guard who worked at the Moscow office. Number 1. Self-incrimination. Police believed Mitri Bakshif, 35, and his wife Natalia, 42, may have killed as many as 30 people over the last 20 years, while they lived at a Krasnodar military barracks in southwest Russia. In September 2017, road workers found Dmitry's phone. It contained selfies of him posing with a severed hand and other body parts from a female body. Police believed Dmitry murdered and butchered the woman in the selfies three days before after he and his wife quarreled with her while drinking.